those assets are much larger than the uh, public debt. So the net debt is in fact uh, an, uh, a negative. So it means that we don't have we don't have a debt. This love reaches to my heart feels so good. Don't wanna be apart. Hold me close, don't let me fall away. I thank you for each and every day. This love reaches to my heart. I would like to choose two figures just to summarize uh, what I think is a peculiarity of Luxembourg. First one is the GNI. GNI is uh, the gross national income. It's a little bit different from the GDP. Our GDP is about, let's say, 80, 80 billion euros per year. And the GNI is among, it's about 35% less. Uh, in many countries, GNI and GDP are the same figure, but in Luxembourg, as in Ireland, our GNI is much lower. And why is it? It's because GNI measures the income which stays inside the limits of the country. So it deducts from the GDP the income from uh, cross-border workers and owners of capital. So a lot of money is going out of the country and so the GNI is by, let's say, 35% less than GDP. So that's one of the figures I think is very important. So it's a very high GDP, very high GNI per capita, but still it's a, a country where a lot of money is coming in and a lot of money is going out. My second number, which is a preferred number, I use very often uh, in uh, conferences, is something like 27%. 27% are the Luxembourgers, so the residents with the Luxembourg passport, which are in work, so which are employed. And uh, all the others employees are either cross-border workers or foreigners living in Luxembourg. So we are a tiny minority which is active in the labor market. And from those 27%, half of them are working for the public sector. So it's a number that I very often use to just to show how open the Luxembourg, how integrated the Luxembourg economy is. So concerning debt of Luxembourg, normally what is alluded to is the public debt of the government, of the state. We have to distinguish between cross, uh, cross public debt and the net public debt. Why? It's because, of course, Luxembourg has contracted uh, some uh, obligations uh, to finance uh, the functioning of, uh, of the state, especially after uh, the pandemic and uh, now the energy crisis after the war in, in Ukraine. And of course, we are now uh, we have a public debt which is uh, something about 25% of GDP. But this is not the whole story because Luxembourg, the Luxembourg state, has also assets. So, for example, shares in in big companies, and there is this uh, huge compensation reserve fund uh, which is meant to help finance uh, the uh, pensions in the the financing of the pension in the in the future. And, this, and, and those assets are much larger than the uh, public debt. So the net debt is in fact uh, an, uh, a negative. So it means that we don't have, we don't have a debt. The risks are that we have to, uh, to make this climate change, which will cost a lot. And we have to see to finance uh, the welfare state, so pensions, but also health, for example, education, etc., which also will be very expensive. And so the opportunities, according to our numbers on competitiveness, uh, attractivity for the moment, we think. But modeling have to, to see if uh, we are right and under, under which condition we are right, that we will have opportunities uh, which would make sure that our growth of income uh, will be able to finance uh, the costs of the investments that we have to do to make sure that we master the transition. This 